however many, 14 new players, um, changed the offense, did a lot of things defensively. Maybe out of your comfort zone a little bit, I'm not sure, but as you sit here and that, that clock winds down, um, I guess, can you speak to just how you feel about that, about the effort you and your staff, your team, you know, put in to get to, to get here? Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely will answer that question. I always just, again, take a chance to, or take a second to acknowledge the Phoenix Suns, um, their players, amazing players led by Devin Booker and Chris Paul, their whole roster, uh, amazing coach, Imani Williams, the entire organization. Um, so much respect for them as competitors. Uh, so I just, I, I have so much respect for Monty and his team. Um, you know, I think it's just a credit to the players. You know, we've, we've been pushing, we've been trying to get better. Um, the players embrace everything. They're amazingly coachable. Um, they just take it and soak it in and, uh, and they make the best of it. Um, they've done that, um, you know, from day one this year. Um, you know, so I'm just, I'm happy for the players. I'm impressed by them uh, every day. Eric, we're over here. Hey, bud. Um, if, for you, as you've kind of tried to put this puzzle together, I mean, this is a three-year process of, all right, first, let's install all the stuff that we want to do. Let's try to tweak it. And then, I mean, let's really make some changes. Kind of what does that process feel like to you uh, of that constant tinkering and tweaking to get to this spot? Yeah, I mean, it's basketball, it's, it's, it's players, it's coaching. Um, the game is always evolving, always changing. We've been close and we just keep pushing. We keep trying to get better. Uh, the players, you know, um, you know that, that's just one of our mantras is to get better. And I think the entire organization embraces it. What John Horse has done to put together a team. Um, you know, I just, he's the greatest GM in the league. I, you know, I'm a little bit biased, but to be his partner, for him to go out and get Drew Holiday to, to have the guts to make that, to, to recruit guys, to get, you know, PJ Tucker in a mid season, Bobby Portis in the off season, stick with Chris and Giannis and Brooke and Pat and these guys, and you just go all up and down the roster. John's done an amazing job and ownership, you know, Mark Lazary, Wes Edens, Jamie Dine and Mike Fest, those guys that give us what we need. And we just kind of keep pushing. We try to get better coaches, players, and um, you know, here we are tonight special. Your tenure, you haven't been afraid to use the word love with your team and just kind of your coaches and everyone. There's two hugs I'd like to know about. Um, <laughs> you one... won't get to know about them, but go ahead, <laughs> try. Uh, Darren, uh, just lifting you up into the air. I think the second time that he's gotten a chance to do that. Uh, and then you, Giannis, and Chris, just kind of getting to have a moment together. And whether or not you want to tell me about the hug, just the partnership with you, yeah, and what that's been. Yeah, no, I mean, Darvin and the coaches, um. You know, Dar Darwin's been with me since the first day I was a head coach. Um, some of these guys have been with me for seven years and then have new guys that have come in. And those coaches, uh, I was, they do all the work um, every day, what they do uh, before practice, in the coaches' meetings, um, ideas, thoughts, concepts. Um, I, I love those guys, no doubt about it. Um, the staff, I, I think – it's part of what makes, uh, you know, coaching special is having uh, assistant coaches and a staff that you can laugh with, you can cry with, you can work with, you can um, debate with or, or fight. Sometimes we fight. Um, and then Giannis and Chris, you know, it's just, I think, special for, um, you know, for me to get the opportunity to coach those two guys, um, the leadership that they've shown um, really from day one, from having breakfast together and um, you could just see their, their desire to be great, um, their desire to push this organization to where we are tonight. Um, you know, I just, to, to embrace those guys, and, and I love them. I love the players. I love the roster. I love the team. Um, I'm incredibly fortunate to be where I am and just be a small part of what's happening tonight. Sean. Uh, but uh, Giannis's game, uh, particularly from the free throw line, defensively, have you run out of things to uh, say about him? Yeah, I might just say, come on up, take over. I don't want to do any more media. Do my thing. This is this is not my. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's hard to find, you know, more words to describe what Giannis does, but the way he made his free throws, the way he did everything, stepped up, the poise, the confidence, the leadership. Yep, he's been working on it. We say we want Giannis to get to the free throw line. We believed, we talk about, you know, we talked about it this past summer. 
Uh, to win a championship, you got to make free throws. You got to make shots. And he's made shots all throughout the playoffs. He's made free throws all throughout the playoffs. Um, six block shots, I think, however many points. He's, he's just, he's off the charts. He's the MVP of the NBA Finals. And but also when you look at this series, was there any time when it probably swung in your favor or was it just this game? No, I mean, you just got every game takes on its own personality, but to come home and win game three, when you're down 2-0, you got to win the third and to win the fourth and, um, you know, go to Phoenix and win on the road, you know, I think set us up for tonight to close it out here at home in front of our fans. So, um, you know, every game is big when you get to this stage. Uh, Tim in the front. Uh, a little bit more about Giannis and the, uh, you guys are down seven at halftime. He comes out in the third quarter, has 20 points in the third quarter and really kind of single-handedly aggressively changed the game. What, was there any conversation at halftime about kind of trying to set a different tone in the third quarter and how important was that for him to kind of come out and really flip the game like that immediately? Yeah. I mean, mostly halftime we're talking about defense. We're trying to figure out how we, you know, we have 47 points against us and we think we can be better. And, but I think, you know, he embraces us being great defensively. Giannis does the whole team. Um, and when we get stops and we get out and run and, and, and get Giannis in space, get our team in space, um, you know, I think he's, he's special. And he was able to put his stamp on the game in the third quarter, flip the score, and, uh, and then some big plays in the fourth quarter, big free throws, big blocks. Um, yeah, you know, he's, it's hard to keep finding words for Giannis. Jeff, back Hard to here. talk about him while he's in the room, too. I think he should come on up here. Jeff, last one before last we bring one. up Giannis. But just uh, real quick off of Sean's um, question, I, I know you mentioned a couple of things, but did you find different, did you find things after game two that really did change the tone of the series? Um, well, we just felt like we played better in game two. Game one, we were not very good. Um, you know, you have to look at yourself, you have to be honest. We went into game two, we still weren't able to get over the hump, but we felt like we were getting better. We learned some things defensively. Um, this group is always, they take the challenge. They love to watch film. They love to improve. They love to get better. And from two to three, we got better and three to four and, and just, you know, through tonight. Um, it's been great to, uh, to watch and witness uh, what this team does when they're challenged. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Coach. Come on, Giannis. Hey, this is comedian J.L. Covan, best known for his impression of Donald Trump. I'm going to be at City Winery in Boston for one night only, July 26th at 8 p.m. Hope to see you there.